What's up? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we have a kind of like a raw card collection video for specifically Japanese cards. And so we have a bunch of cards to show off. And actually, we're going to start on, on the right. We have a what is a pretty cool card, but um, I don't think it's ever going to be like worth much. Uh, so this is Red's Pikachu. And if you do want to pick up one of these, if you think it's pretty cool, I'll put a link down below. And this card is really cheap. You can pick it up for like $7 shipped from like Japan. Uh, so they're they're not very expensive and they look awesome like it's just like a very cool full art very unique and So actually, I, I definitely recommend you know follow, follow the link below and pick up at least one just to have again I don't think this thing will ever like age. I feel like they printed like a billion of them <laughs> Again for for a eBay seller to make a profit by sending a card from Japan to the US at Seven dollars or something like that is absolutely uh, insane um, so the next bunch of cards are actually so in uh, like end of summer uh, early fall like is Hidden Fates gonna hit the scene and you know I'm so excited for that set I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of openings for that so stay tuned for that and however I was uh, part of me was a little bit disappointed because I was so into ultra shiny and because I thought it was gonna be very unique it's gonna be Japanese only which ultimately I was incorrect but so at the time I thought this set was going to be big and it's going to be one of those rare things that's like Japanese that is very unique and therefore holds a lot of value especially when you get it graded. Uh, so I did pick up some cards to get PSA graded which I still haven't obviously haven't yet um, and they are from SM8B or Ultra Shiny GX or um, High, uh, maybe that has different names. So we have some Leafeons. Leaf, any evolution is just so cool and I love all of them. Uh, Glissopod. It's just kind of a cool Pokemon. Uh, that it reminds me of like this terrifying parasite that lives in fish's mouths. Ho-Oh, just a classic, classic card. Uh, Alolan Ninetales. Alolan Vulpix Ninetales, probably my favorite Alolan species. Articuno, legendary bird, obviously a classic. Another evolution in Glaceon. Um, Greninja, just a very iconic card. Obviously Mewtwo, shiny Mewtwo. Espeon shiny, very cool. Uh, Zygarde, I was never a huge fan of Zygarde, but this one does look, I think this the shiny version is pretty awesome. Lycanroc, just a pretty good card with the, I um, don't remember what it's called in English, but the thing that kind of like just makes your opponent swap out the Pokemon. Uh, Umbreon, another evolution. I am a big fan of Guzzlord, especially this one. Uh, I thought the PT PTCGO deck would just have a, like, a bunch of Guzzlords and a bunch of Darkness Energy. It's not a very good deck, but it's just fun to play actually can win sometimes scissor like scyther i think was so cool and then you turn it into a metal pokemon so scissor is one of my favorites as well uh, the shiny version is just okay not the best the metagross um is a pretty good one uh ironically i feel like it just turns it it looks more like metallic so i almost feel like if it was the other way around i wonder if that would be make more sense uh, Kartana, just a kind of a weird card, but I always thought it was pretty cool. All the Ultra Beasts, I do like Stack Attacka. Gardevoir, one of my favorites. Um, that's this uh, the shiny I, I like and I don't, not crazy about it, but it's like good but not great. Uh, Sylveon, one of my, I think Sylveon might be, I have a Sylveon plush I showed in multiple videos. Altaria, very cool, just one Noivern. And then the, um, the Guardians, we got Bulu. Feeny, Coco, and of course Lele. Huge card. But so again, while I was talking about like Hidden Fates, like I'm so excited for Hidden Fates, but part of me felt like, oh, you know, if let's assume all these cards are graded, I feel like the value of them um, over time won't be as high just because it was printed in English, and therefore that's going to be what everyone wants. And then we have the gold cards, uh, the Lunala, uh, Sogaleo, and Ultra Necrozma. So very cool. All the stuff, uh, a lot of the, most of the SSRs from sm8b or ultra shiny gx uh, so before we hit these last two uh if you do enjoy this content do me a favor hit that like button down below and uh definitely sub if you're not already uh bell for notifications and we're going to move on to our last two piles uh these were the ones that's like all right you know this is going to be the chase card of this set so I, i'm going to want i'm going to get some graded and so for the first one uh you might be able to guess what these are so the first one is shiny rayquaza um i feel like this uh, i don't feel like the deck has dropped off in the meta but when he came out the card is just so strong 
very cool card, very cool mechanic, very unique. Um, and I thought this, oh, I think this card still will be pretty big, um, but not, Hidden Fates will obviously kind of dilute it. Uh, the only chance, actually no, there's still printing, there's still a lot of, uh, Ultra Shiny GX out there, so, I, I don't think it'll come to, it won't plan out the way I thought it would, not nearly as nice as, like, the Scream cards, especially, like, the Mimikyu, um, but I do think it will gain some value over time. And then the last one is, of course, of course, the Shiny Charizard. The big boy, this card in English, I think is gonna follow the. It's like the same art, just the sh uh, shiny version of the Burning Shadows Charizard. It's gonna follow the same route as Reshizard Rainbow Rare. Um, just a, such a cool, such a cool art, such classic, and uh, yeah, I think this one. Actually, I think this one will still hold its value pretty well as a graded card, um, but I do think the Hidden Fates one is going to be better, a better choice. Uh, once that comes out so um, yeah that's it that's um the more modern cards or like uh, very recent cards for Japanese uh, Japanese Pokemon cards that are kind of like in my collection raw um, I'll still probably get them graded at some point but at this point there's no rush and um, Hidden Fates is also coming so that kind of like obviously puts a wrench in that plan um but yeah let me know what your thoughts are down below um if you have any and uh thanks for watching guys i'm a wanted turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace